Good evening, guys. David here, Life and Death Diecast. Going to do my uh, first uh, unboxing video, and I know it's going to be a complete disaster, so please deal with me. Um, I don't know how to do editing yet, so all of this is being done live, and you get to see all the mistakes as we go. So the subject matter for today is the Ford Raptor. I picked this up on eBay the other day just because I wanted it for this video. Um, this particular truck, from what I'm to understand, and I didn't uh, have one of these before, uh, was a Walmart exclusive. Uh, I guess the series, the Off-Road Rally, was a Walmart exclusive. Um, and they had a bunch of different vehicles. Let me show you, it's on the back of the card. Um, these were the other cars that were on the uh, part of the set. If you care to freeze the frame, and uh, you can take a look at that at your own leisure. But this truck is the one that I needed for this video. So, as you can see, it's just a orange matchbox on the side, graphics. Um, pretty good looking little truck. Um, got the spare tire in the back. Um, so, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on this truck. Real, realistically, the reason why I bought this truck and had it shipped was so that it could be here when we open this. I've had this for a while and I haven't yet to have taken it out of the box. So I thought I would share taking it out of the box with y'all. What this is, this is a company called GT Spirit. And now we'll get rid of this thing here in just a second. Give it some more room. This is a 118 scale resin model. <clears throat> resin is a uh, something I'm just learning about. I haven't gotten too much into. Um, so it's not die cast metal. Um, it's actually a, a poly resin. Um, but one of the things that the resin allows the model builders to be able to do is to be able to get very tight and defined edges rather than having to flow the metal um, into the molds. Um, this particular model is what's known as the Raptor 37, which was a uh, option package on the 2022, well, on the Raptors going forward. Um, there's a quality control card if it matters. Um, but the Raptor 37 was an option that Ford put out, which allowed the owner to select um, that package. And um, they were very, very limited in production. And what it did was it gave the, uh, the owner uh, special graphics down the side. Notice the 37 right here. And it came factory with 37 inch wheels, uh, 37 inch tires on the, uh, the 18 inch rims. Um, this particular truck is done up in code orange. There will be no opening parts on this particular truck because, as I said before, it is resin. Um, now, there's a reason why I wanted uh, to grab this truck. So, uh, I'm going to share a little things with you tonight because a lot of you are just new to my channel and really, I have not really said a lot about what I do and so on and so forth. But, I make my living off of... Um, I do inventory control management for Ford and Lincoln stores. Um, I'm technically their buyer. So when they order their vehicles, I'm the one that orders the cars, fix the colors, fix the specs, fix the options. It's my job to make sure that their, their uh, inventory turns as fast as possible. So this particular truck comes in uh, what they call code orange. Um, the paint code on it was CM, like anybody really wants to hear that. But I'm just going to give you the information as I know it. Um, the detail on the rear window, sliding window, looks fantastic. The uh, um, rear window defroster lines look fabulous. Truck comes with a Ford Motorsport uh, license plate. Um, the full applique for the tailgate looks tremendous. Uh, and I would hope so at the price point these come out. This was not a cheap, cheap model. Now, notice it does not roll, so it is basically a static, static piece. Um, but, and I know a lot of you don't collect 118 scale, and these are obviously way more affordable but, um, to buy as many. But 
seeing as that I make my money on uh, my, my living off of um, ordering these cars and trucks brand new, um, I have an affinity for obviously having models that, um, you know, I, that I've actually ordered. So with this model, you are able to select um, kind of a neat feature. Here, let me show you. Little, got this little baggie that comes with it. And um, you are able to specify whether you want it custom license plates or not. And I'm going to send you these um, little guys. And this is what I had them do. It's Texas. The numbers are 2022, then W1R. Now, what does that mean? What does that signify? Well, I'm from Texas, so um, they come with these little, uh, those are little stickers, and then they come with these little metal uh, plates that you stick them on, and then you can glue them to the truck, apparently. But the 22 W1R, um, obviously 2022 designates the year model of the truck, and um, W1R is the uh, body code that goes into the VIN number for the, for the Raptor. Um, like a regular F-150 four-wheel drive crew cab, but whether it would be an XLT or a Lariat or a Limited or a Platinum or a King Ranch, that would be a William 1 Echo. The William 1 Robert is only used on the, uh, the Raptor trucks. And um, so I figured what kind of a neat little tie into what I do. Um, so I'm gonna put those plates on this truck and this truck will be displayed in my office uh, along with a bunch of my other uh, uh, pieces that I have for that for that collection. A um, couple things to point out. The embed tie-down hooks um, look really good. The uh, indicators on the uh, mirrors look fantastic. The wheels are spot on with the, uh, the, the discs showing in from behind. Um, the bottom, you know, um, it's uh, number 895 of 1200. So this will be a 1200 run total run um, production, and um, I was just kind of happy to have uh, run across it when I did, because I think this is a fantastic addition to, uh, to my collection. Um, I don't know if you can see this or not. Um, I'll try to zoom in. Um, the interior on the truck is got some, I'm trying to get it. I don't know if you can see that, but the, uh, the top of the dashboard and the door panels and parts of the seats are actually dark navy blue. And that is absolutely exactly correct. Um, also notice on the top of the steering wheel right there, there's a, a little piece of uh, uh, leather trim on the uh, steering wheel that was marked code orange as well. So it matched the, the outside of the truck. Um, I just wanted to share this, uh, this truck with y'all and uh, kind of just try my, uh, try my hand out at the, uh, the whole unboxing thing. See, I can't even do that right. Oh, that's because I got the zoom out wrong. <laughs> See, I told you, uh, you'll get all the editing gaffes and everything. Because um, like I said, I'm doing these videos 100% live and I don't have anything written down. I don't have anything prepared. I just have the model, the camera, and myself. And um, so please forgive if, if my uh, videos at this point early on in my um, adventures here on YouTube and hanging out with y'all are a little bit rough. Um, I will work on my um, uh, technique and I will work on my uh, technical skills. Um, and hopefully uh, some of y'all stick around long enough to see those get better. Um, the uh, the taillights on this truck are, are spectacular. Um, clear in all the right spots, red in all the right spots. Um, even the, um, the, the license plate lights uh, are, are done exactly the way they should be. The headlights, all of these headlights would have been um, HID, and I believe this were done spectacularly. And you also get the orange three F ICC marker lights. And these ICC marker lights are only on the Raptors, and um, they're required. And I don't know what the measurement is, but the, uh, the Raptor, because of the bulged fenders, um, here on these arches, um, these trucks actually exceed the width um, for not having to have these marker lights like you would see on a 18-wheeler uh, or an F-350 uh, would have up on the roof if they had like the, the door wheels sitting out back. 
So this truck is right there on the hairy edges and uh, gets those uh, marker lights, so the model does as well. Um, oops, come back here. Um, I think it's a spectacular piece. I know a lot of you guys don't collect 118th, and um, trust me, it's probably not a rabbit hole you want to go down if you don't want to go down the rabbit hole. Um, I've probably got somewhere in the neighborhood of 200 118th scale cars. And um, good news, guys, uh, my, all of my household belongings, uh, like I told you in a, a video, video before, are uh, now in storage with the moving storage company in a lot of Texas. And um, I will be, uh, my appointment to have the stuff moved into my house is on the 10th of November. Um, not that I'm really happy about it that it's taking that long, but I guess what I'm trying to say is uh, my, my collection will be in my hands um, starting on the 10th. And then I'm gonna start um, pumping out some videos. And like I said, between now and then, I'm gonna work on the editing skills and you know how I go about making these videos to try and make them more interesting for y'all. Um, Cause I really want to share my collection. Um, I wanna share, not because I wanna show off, I wanna share because quite honestly, um, a lot of my collection has been unseen for over 10 years. I haven't seen them. They've been in cardboard boxes, in cardboard boxes, inside cardboard boxes. And it's time to free the piece. Um, I really think I've got some great stuff to show you. I've got some stuff that you probably may have never seen before. Um, uh, I hope you really enjoy it. Uh, what I'm gonna try and do, and I, I would like to throw this out there and comments are obviously welcome um in any constructive criticism please by all means put them down put them down in the in the comments um but uh at the end of the day um my collecting style is probably different from a lot of y'all's my i go in like categories so like this is part of my ford pickup truck collection i have Porsche collections, I have Lincoln collections, I have full-size Pontiac collections, I've got station wagon collections, I've got Mercedes-Benz collections, um, Buicks G-bodies, um, G-body Chevrolets, uh, I've got, you know, obviously import cars, uh, Mustangs, can we say Mustang? I've got some Mustangs that are going to uh, drop your socks off, but... Um, and I've got like collections of GTOs um, from, and I'm, like I said, I've got cars all the way from 164th all the way up to 112, which are, are obviously bigger than these, um, but they're great models. And I don't collect everything um, out there. I collect vehicles that you would see on the road. Um, technically, I don't, I think the reason why I never had this little guy before was because the graphics on it. That's the way I like my vehicles. That's the way I like the cars in my collection, like you see them on the road. But I thought for this video, I'd splurge a little, throw a couple of bucks at the old eBay, get this guy to introduce you to this guy, and now these guys can be friends until the rest of the collection arrives. Um, with that, guys, if you like what you're seeing, please subscribe. I'm not asking you to. I'm not looking to monetize my videos. Um, I just want to know that people are enjoying what I'm doing. Because if you're not enjoying what I'm doing, then what I'm doing is not worth the time to do it. So with that, um, guys, go have a great rest of your night. And um, I will talk to you all soon. And the collection will be here. And we will start rolling out some videos. Oh, and by the way, um, what my first video, and I'm probably going to work on it this, this week. Um, I've got a stash of Porsches that I have um, gotten over the past um, three months um, that are just begging for me to do a video. And I wanted to start with this one to see how um, the angles work with the camera, see how the lighting worked, um, so that when I do um, my Porsche one, um, it is going to be uh, as best as I can get it. So guys, with that, Wish you all the best, and may God bless, and we will talk to you all soon. Good night.